Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Lady Legend, and in today's video, we're gonna have a look at the top 10 rarest rares to find in Call of the Wild right now. Rares are very tough to find, but some are just almost impossible, and we're gonna have a look at the very toughest of the tough we're going to look at what the hardest rares are to find. Now, this is going to be an opinion-based top 10 list. If you guys have a different experience, this is going to be based on my experience in the game. If you guys have a different opinion, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what you think. So coming in at number 10 on our list is the Crowned Wildebeest. Now, the reason I have this coming in at number 10, guys, is because I actually do have a few of these on Xbox. My Xbox isn't working right now, so I can't access it right now, but the only reason I do have a few is because I have played Savannah hard. <laughs> Very hard over the last few years, but they are, and I can tell you from experience, very hard to find. Now, Crowned Wildebeest only come in female. You can't find them in male, so that is unfortunate because I do think that they do exist in male, as males, in real life. Now, let's have a look at a photo of one of these. Oh my goodness, they are absolutely beautiful. Sometimes it is hard to tell that they are crowned in the light. So as you are looking at a, a herd of wildebeest, definitely pick through every single one to see if you can find that crowned wildebeest, but they are very tough, rare to find. Moving on to number nine in our top 10 list of rarest rares in the game right now is the melanistic mountain goat. Now I have never seen a melanistic mountain goat ever. I imagine they would stick out like a sore thumb, but Melanistic, they are the hardest to find in the game as far as rares go. They spawn the least amount. They have the lowest spawn rate. I don't know exactly what the spawn rates are, but definitely Melanistic is the toughest. Now, I would love to run into one of these Melanistic mountain goats in Silver Ridge Peaks, but I would imagine if you would like to find one, I would run a multiplayer and just keep searching or set up a grind on your own map, just like you would be grinding for the Great One. And eventually after, I would imagine several thousand kills, you should eventually be able to spawn a Melanistic, but I don't think it's going to be an easy venture. So if you do have a Melanistic Mountain Goat in your lodge, count yourself as very blessed. You have done an amazing job. That is quite a find. I would love to find one, one of these days. Coming in at number eight on our list of top 10 rarest rares is the Piebald Lynx. And the reason I don't have Melanistic Lynx as one of these in the top 10 is I actually do have a Melanistic Lynx, shockingly. And I just think that a Piebald Lynx, even though it probably does spawn more than an albino or a Melanistic, they're just so very hard to see. They don't look that different from a common. And when you are hunting for Lynx, generally, if you're hunting them in their drink zone, they drink at night. So it is very hard to see what you're shooting at. So when I am hunting for any kind of rare lynx in their drink zone, I honestly just shoot all of them and hope that when I pick them up, I am going to find a rare on the other end. And that is exactly how I did find my melanistic lynx. But if you do have a piebald or an albino lynx for that matter in your lodge, consider yourself very blessed because I think that is a very cool and very hard to find rare. And I am hoping to find one one of these days. Moving on to number seven in our top 10 list of rarest rares in the game right now is the albino feral pig. Now, feral pigs don't come in melanistic. I have never even seen an albino and I would imagine that a lot less people do have this rare gem in their lodge simply because this map, T. Awaroa, has simply not been out for very long. It's only been out for less than a year and this is a really cool find. I would imagine if you were to spot one, it would be easy to see in the distance. An albino will stick out like a sore thumb, but they simply just don't spawn very often. Now, this is actually an image of an albino wild boar. I could not find an image online of an al albino feral pig. <laughs> That's how rare they are. I could not find an image to show you guys, so I do apologize for that. But if you do have one of these, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. And if you did do a grind to get one, let me know how many kills it took. I would love to know. That's fascinating information. But definitely the only place that you can grind for an albino feral pig or any feral pig is in T. Aurora. This is the only map where you will find them. 
Coming in at number six on our top 10 list of rarest rares in the game is the Melanistic Red Deer. Now, about a year ago, there was an update that actually increased the spawn rate for Melanistic Red Deer. Might have been less than a year ago. And then we started to see them a little bit in the game. Before that, they were basically non-existent. But since then, I actually do have two Melanistic Red Deer. They are both on Xbox. They are both silver. I have never seen one on PC, but I will be grinding for one. But they are really tough to see. Now, the nice thing about Red Deer is you will find Red Deer on four different maps. You will find them in Hirschfelden, Parque Fernando, Cuatro Colinas, and now here in T. Aurora. Now, sometimes I see a Red Deer and I think it might be melanistic, but it is really hard to tell as Red Deer are very, very dark. Now, here is an image of a melanistic Red Deer. Oh my goodness, they are so stunning. So if you have a monster melanistic Red Deer in your lodge, I am jealous. I am hoping to find an even bigger one, but I do count myself blessed to have one at all because they are a very, very tough thing to find in the game. Coming in at number five on our list is the albino mountain goat. Now, I would imagine that albino mountain goats would spawn more often than melanistic, but the thing is, it's almost impossible to tell that they're albino because they all look like they're albino, they're all white. The only way to tell is by having a peek at their hooves. Albinos always have pink hooves and a pink nose, and it is almost impossible to tell at a distance if it's albino. Very, very tough to see. So basically, you just got to keep shooting them and hope that you pick one up one of these days or pick up a track. Let's have a look at an image here. So this is an albino mountain goat, and I have never seen one. If you guys have one in your lodge, let me know. Let me know how you found it and what your experience was. Now, of course, the only place where you're going to find mountain goats at all is in Silver Ridge Peaks, so you are limited to hunt them on this map. Coming in at number four on our list of top 10 rarest rares in the game is the Melanistic Red Fox. Now, Red Fox are a tough diamond to find. I consider them in the top three hardest diamonds of the game. They're not easy. I do have three diamond red foxes. I did find them all within the last year, but it took me years to even find my first one. Now, the nice thing about red fox is you do have more than one map to hunt them on. You can hunt them here in Hirschfelden or you can hunt them in Yukon. But the thing is that they drink at night. So if you're looking for a melanistic, it's almost impossible to find at night. I would highly recommend hunting them in their feed zones if you are looking for a melanistic. Now, here's an image of one here. Aren't they gorgeous? Finding any rare red fox is a very tough thing to find. I do have an albino. I consider myself very lucky to have found it. And I just happened to find it prancing across a field in Hirschfelden while I was looking for European rabbits. And uh, I just happened to find one after hunting red fox for over three years. So if you do have a melanistic red fox in your lodge, good for you. That's amazing. I am really hoping to run across one one of these days. Coming in at number three on our list today is the albino lion. Now, this is a very coveted rare. This is, this is a rare that everyone would love to have and seldom few do have. If you have just happened to come across one on a multiplayer server, consider yourself very blessed because they are very, very hard to find. I do have a female I found quite a long time ago. I was utterly over the moon when I found her. But I have never, ever come across an albino male lion, and I have hunted thousands and thousands of lions over the last few years in Savannah. They just are not that easy to find. I think for me to eventually find an albino lion, I'm going to have to set up a grind and plan to kill thousands of them to be able to spawn one. Either that or jump multiplayer servers and hope to find one searching and searching. Those are your options. But if you do have an albino male lion in your lodge, that's amazing. Good for you. I, I would love to find one. They are just simply stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Coming in at number two on our list of top 10 rarest rares in the game right now is the albino brown bear. 
Now I'm not talking about the albino brown bear diamond that you can get in the Medved missions. If you guys didn't know that, you actually can get a diamond albino brown bear in the missions. But actually finding an albino brown bear in game in Medved is a very, very, very difficult thing to do. They are so rare that I actually didn't even realize that they existed in game. I thought they were only available in the missions. Trust me, I love hunting Medved and I have hunted it incessantly and I have never ever seen an albino brown bear ever in the game. Now, if you guys do have one, let me know how you came across it, how long it took you to find. I would love to know. I personally think that a really nice rare is an even bigger treasure to me than a diamond, especially after you've been collecting diamonds for a while. Rares are way harder to find, especially nice big ones. Finding a, a level seven albino brown bear in game would be a very, very cool find. I'm hoping to find one one of these days. And this image here is actually from the missions where you can get the diamond albino brown bear. So that, that's where that photo is taken. Coming in at our number one rarest rare in the game right now is the melanistic coyote. Now coyote, even diamond coyotes, probably the toughest diamond for me in the entire game. I actually just got my first diamond coyote just a couple days ago in almost four years. I did get a diamond coyote as one of my first diamonds years ago. I lost it when I lost my lodges and it's taken me that long to find another one. And I don't know if I would have even found another one were it not for coyotes being added to the Mexico map. Now I know not everyone has access to the Mexico map yet. I am hoping that Rancho comes out for console and everyone can enjoy it very, very soon. But having coyotes on another map is definitely gonna give us a lot more chances at finding rares. But finding a melanistic coyote is a very, very tough thing to find. I just don't think they spawn very often. They're such tiny, tiny creatures and coyotes are really hard to hunt as a species just on their own. They are especially in Layton. I find them a lot easier to hunt here in Rancho because they drink absolutely everywhere. Now I will be putting out a coyote guide for Rancho when it does come out for console so that we can get around and find more coyotes. But if you do have a melanistic coyote in your lodge, <laughs> I'm very green. That's an amazing trophy. You should be very proud and I'd love to know where you found it. Now again, guys, this top 10 list is my opinion only. It is based on my experience in the game. If you guys do have a totally different experience, let me know what you think your top three rarest rares are for you. And that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you did enjoy the video, guys, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing, smash that like button. And if you would like to join us for more, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell and we will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.